The member shown is made of 1006 cold drawn steel. Using the distortion energy theory, what is the factor of safety if the bar is subjected to two forces F and P and the torque T? This is the third example for the yield criteria video. Make sure you've watched the two previous examples and the main video before watching this. Links below. There are two critical stress elements to consider, A and B. The main difference is that element B will be subjected to bending, while element A will be subjected to shear. We will later learn that for long elements like this, the bending stress will always be way higher than the transverse shear stress, so stress element B will be the critical stress to study. The force F at a distance of 100 millimeters will be counteracted by an internal moment about the Y axis. This moment will create a positive normal stress due to bending at B. Load P creates a normal stress in the same direction. And the torque T creates a shearing stress that we would see as a vector going down on the right face of element B. The normal stresses result in 189 megapascals and the torsional shearing stress in 37.7 megapascals. With the values for the center and the radius of my Mohr circle, I can find the principal stresses, which are what we need to calculate the von Mises stress and therefore the factor of safety. The factor of safety for the distortional energy theory would therefore be 1.4. Remember that sigma 2 is not always zero. Both in-plane principal stresses can be positive or negative, meaning that either sigma 3 or sigma 1 are zero, respectively. The reason I chose problems where there is a positive and negative principal stress is so that we would use the equations for the quadrant 2 and 3 of our stress envelopes. Thanks for watching.